names. Where, where are so the names? It's like the Sun and Wizard of Oz. The best way to put it. Really? The easiest way. Oh, wow. That's, mm -hmm. I've never even thought about that, but I'm yeah. glad you clarified. I finally came up with it. You find yeah. <laughs> right here, right now. After, we just want no, we just, no, not right the <gasps> second. But you got, you got to tell for people many, that many you just years. Came up I had it. to put up with people calling me all sorts of different names, and I'm like, wait a minute. I hit my 30s, and I'm like, wait, you can just uh, say the Sun and Wizard of Oz, Sun Oz. There you Easy. go, Wizard right, of Oz. And I do that when I was sun. seven, when kids were making fun of me. <laughs> oh, I don't know, but it's okay. It's all good. It works for us. We accept it. Thank you. So in terms of uh, not only with this uh, show, but future shows, where do you plan to uh, take your career, these people's career, anyone's career? Where do you plan to go with that? Well, I basically try to help um, the metal genre. So that's how I started. And that's how you know everything started evolving and getting bigger and stuff like that. And uh, it's gotten to a point point that you know I'm traveling now to all the all the cities big small you know overseas everywhere and finding all these bands and um, we need to go back to the to the roots a little bit I kind of got sidetracked with all the traveling and, and this and that so but I need to go back to the roots and start pushing the, the smaller bands out there for the world to see because I don't think they have enough people pushing them out there right and it's not just me everybody needs to do it you know so oh, yeah, we, exactly. we all have to do it well and I'm, you mentioned the roots you definitely want to get back to the roots but with uh, music being an ever-evolving creature or a career do you feel that the future of the music that you're trying to help uh, prepare these metal bands for is going to be changing drastically or do you think they need to stick with the status quo and really need to push what they're doing now I think they should just stick to what we have Pushing it is always good, you know, push, make it better, do more stuff, uh, make it bigger, you know, announce it more, get it out there. All mm. that always obviously helps. But as far as like changing, I don't think it's needed or, or anything like that. We like our metal scene the way it is. I mean, any type of metal that anybody's into, they cut it up and slice it up so much into different genres of metal. But it's all basically metal to me. So. Bottom line is just stick to what they're doing and they're just keep putting out something that hasn't been done. Stop, stop you know, trying to copy somebody else or trying to sound like someone else. Right. I mean, it's good to have people that, you know, influence you and you're like, wow, you know, that's kind of cool. But how about take that and make it better? Right. Definitely. Every, everyone has inspiration, but yeah. it's, it's important not to become a copycat. Yeah. So in, in terms of history repeating itself in the music career, there have been rumors that grunge is going to be the next big thing. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think hair metal is coming back too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hair metal can't it, be it hair just, metal. It just seems like it's, it just goes in circles, you know, just like like fashion does, I guess. You know, they keep always, always saying that they always, you know, now girls, girls are wearing like 50s style clothing. I think music is the same, you know, it just starts going in, in kind of circles, you kind of go back. It would be nice to go back and find some bands that were like Led Zeppelin or, oh, you know, yeah. things like that. Why not? You know, it'll be, it'll be amazing and it'll be like new stuff. Then gotcha. I think they all should come back. Oh, I, I agree. That would be awesome. Yes. But, you know, I think that the whole rotting corpses would kind of hurt their chances at performing live. But you never know. You just <laughs> never know. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> So I guess that um, there are a thousand questions I'd like to ask you. Obviously, a thousand and one you've been asked before. But based on the local talent or the talent in your local scene, who do you think is going to be the next big thing? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a few bands that I've, I have met, and I'm trying to work with them. I can't, I can't really say their names just yet because I don't know if they're going to step up to the plate. Because once... Right. Once somebody decides to, to work with me, I become a little bit of a, you know, like, it's got to be done now, this, that, that, you know, everything starts kind of changing and it just, I start becoming a little bit bossy. Oh, you know. So, so we're going to see who really steps up to the plate. Right. Uh, as far as the bands that I work with, not, you know, not just everybody out there, you know. Right. Um, but gotcha. as far as that, um, it'll be out soon. But right. I'm working on a, on a few, so. Very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. We greatly appreciate you doing this interview with us. Look for more interviews from Metal Sanaz and, and plenty others. Thank you.